Good morning, Trailblazers. Today is Tuesday, January 19th, 2016. I'm Ashton. And I'm Scott. From Miss Molina's fifth grade class. Everyone, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's go to Ms. Gruber, our guidance counselor, for a few recognitions. Good morning, Trailblazers. One announcement before we get started with the star students is uh, we, because of Monday, we weren't able to have our special area blazer meeting, but we'll have that today and then I'll announce tomorrow and the, the two classes will get their popcorn tomorrow. So, Allie Grace, are you all set to get going? All right, you wanna say hi to anybody? Hi, Miss Pinson's class. <laughs> okay, let's let's pull our wheel over. All right, let me spin this for you. Okay, Allie Grace will pull out four names. Okay. Uh oh, this one's really folded. Okay. Kyler Riley from Miss Colkey's class. And Lucy Kerwin from Miss Morris's class. And Sophia Harris from Miss Molina's class. And last but not least, Haley from Mrs. Dillon's class. Come on down, guys. You're our star students for the start of the week. Over to the news team. Here's PTO with some exciting news. Good morning, Trailblazers. The countdown is on. Only 12 more days until the DeSoto Trail Run for Literacy, 5K and one mile fun run. Look in your Tuesday folders today for a registration form. You can show your parents or your grandparents or your brothers or your sisters or your neighbors and sign up. You still have time to sign up to run that race. And this year, if you haven't heard already, we're telling everyone to wear their best book character costume. Some special prizes will be given out to those who cross the finish line in a costume. So who's going to win it this year? Maybe it'll be Wonder Woman. Woo! Or maybe it could be a baseball player. Or how about a superhero? Woo! Or maybe even Kermit the Frog. <laughs> so put on those costumes and put your running shoes on and come out on January 30th here at DeSoto Trail at 8 a.m. to run the 5K or one mile fun run. We hope to see you out there. Thanks, Trailblazers. Today's lunch is teriyaki chicken and lo mein, cheesy bread or Italian wrap. Side, item, side items include Mariana cup or veggie egg roll. Fruit is also available. Now let's go to Miss Keltner and Dr. Poole for a few announcements. Good, Good, Good morning, Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Happy, Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, another cool morning out there. Cold morning, yes. I should say. And welcome back. It's nice to be back. Thank you. Well, Missed everybody, but I learned a lot more about that in just a moment. Well, I look I look forward to hearing all about the excitement that you guys had down there. We had fun. Well, we had some excitement here, too, and we got some excitement today because we have four birthdays that we're celebrating, and they are George Fisher, mm -hmm. Tova Kruzschik, Javian Lawson, and Elena Toro. Happy Come birthday. on down to the front office. And as the celebration keeps going, on Friday, I got this email from Mrs. Morris saying that Lucy Kerwin completed her multiplication <laughs> facts for on extra math. Way to go, Lucy. Keep up the great work. Yep. And those are the announcements. Oh, I'm sorry. I got two more announcements. Mrs. Edwards, would you please send Devin Skidmore... <laughs> down to the front office and Mrs. Pinson would you please send Tyler Jenkins down to the front office thank you 
All right. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Ooh, we all know Star Wars is really in right now. I remember mm-hmm. originally when it came out in the 70s, but yes. anyway, we won't go down that road. Uh, <laughs> let the Trailblazer Force be with you. Yes, the FETC conference, uh, right. myself and four of our trailblazing teachers and our very own doc- Dr. Schubert. Yeah, I just upgraded you to a doctor, David. <laughs> Mr. Schubert there you go. <laughs> uh, was there, and we learned a lot at that conference. We're going to have a debriefing session. Um, I don't know if we'll get it together by the faculty meeting this week but we will be bringing the information to the teachers soon but for the students the big buzz topic this year was coding and really about girls learning how to code do you know what coding is I know you all have done hour of code here at DeSoto Trail I learned a lot more about it I think my aha moment that is not just for the tag students, students that anybody and everybody can learn how to code so we'll be brainstorming ideas on how to bring more coding to DeSoto Trail Maybe a little this year, but definitely more next year. So let the trailblazer force be with you. And I want you to know, Mr. Schubert, we sat there for, what, half an hour waiting (laughs) to win this little plastic (laughs) saber. So I'm going to cherish this. I might have to incorporate this into every WDTS somehow. Mm -hmm. It was a a cherished prize gift we got from one of the (laughs) vendors, Canvas. All right, let's see what else we have going on this week. Tomorrow, teachers, if you're interested in the Lexia refresher, please see Ms. Watkins. Teachers, we do have a faculty meeting uh, this Thursday, so I'll have a principal's meeting tomorrow. I'll be bringing lots of information back. And then I know Ms. Uh, Chrisinger is going to talk about the due date for the Celebrate Literacy poster contest in just a minute. That's coming up on Friday. I think that's all I've got there. <gasps> Tidy Trailblazer Award for Ooh. last week. Miss Whitmore's class. Oh, Woo-hoo! Okay, Whitmore's go. world is going to get that trophy, so I'll be down to Miss Foreman's <laughs> class to take that and pass it on to the next group. Uh, let's see. Next week, book drive for the Refuge House for Celebrate Literacy Week. Uh, send in any new or gently used books that we can send to the Refuge oh. House during the last week of January. We'll collect the books in the volunteer hallway, so bring in your donated books. And I, if I can take just a couple more minutes, um, I've asked Trailblazers to submit your Manners superhero. <laughs> and here is Manners Girl. But you can call me MG. I save the world from bad manners. I give a... I think that's great. Thanks to Miss uh, Keltner and Dr. Poole for introducing Manners to DTS. Listen to them. They know what they're talking about. All right, MG. All right. I like this by Emma O'Neill in Miss oh, Keaton's class. Very good. So that's one of our Manners superheroes, MG. I like it. And so each day I will highlight right, more go, of the superheroes. All right. Those are all the announcements I have today. Anything else, Dr. Poole? Stay warm. Stay warm. <laughs> that's right. We know what we're talking about. Now, uh, check lost and found. Speaking of being yes, warm yes. please all right uh, also I wanted to say about the fun run or the literacy uh, run no masks I meant to say yes. something to Miss Miller to make sure we yes. do keep that in mind because we don't want anybody running with masks in the 5k or the mile yes. run we want you to be safe so yes by, by all means dress up in your best character costume but no face masks all right trailblazers back to the news team thank you let's go to Miss Gruber for a few announcements Hey, I'm back with our star students, but I wanted to give a special shout out to Mrs. Whitmore's class. Man, you guys were on fire last week. Blazer Award and Tidy Trailblazer. You guys keep up that good work. We're watching. Okay. Okay, who's got S for me today? Oh, Lucy does. Stay safe. Awesome. Haley, you got T? Take take charge of your learning. Okay, how about A? Oh, Kyler. Act responsibly. And R. Respect yourself and others. Yeah, we got it here at DeSoto Trail. We just so got it. Okay, guys, what's your slip say? Lucy, let's start with you. I helped someone pack up when she was running late. Oh, that's so nice. Who who nominated you? Avery Miller. Oh, Avery Miller. Good job, Avery. Okay, Haley, how about yours? Picking up trash. Awesome, and who nominated you? Lily Duncan. Oh, so far, I think we've got an A and an R. Woo. Okay, Kyler, what's yours say? I helped somebody pick up something when they fell. Awesome. And who nominated you? Phoebe Will- Williams. Williams. Cool. All right. Sophia, how about yours? Exceptional student, very dependable, always helps with my club. Wow. That's quite a nomination. Okay. Who nominated you? Coach Luther. Fabulous. You guys keep up that good work. I'm hearing a lot of S-T-A-N-R up here today. Okay. Allie Grace is going to give you your Starbuck for the school store. And come on down and come do a little shopping with us. 
and you guys give them a pat on the back, a high five, and say, way to go. They're your star students for this Tuesday. Back to the news team. Our su constructing success word for the week is compassion. Compassion is a deep feeling of caring for someone who is hurt, self who is suffering or hurt. A compassionate person likes to help others in need. Here is Miss Christinger with Media News. Good morning, Trailblazers. Happy Tuesday. Yes, the next couple of weeks are going to be a very, very busy uh, couple of weeks for literacy. Remember, literacy is the ability to read, being able to read, something we're all about here at DeSoto Trail. And in honor of Celebrate Literacy Week, which is next week, we uh, talked Friday about um, students making posters to hang up in the media center. We're having a poster contest. And I've already got three posters turned in. They they do not have to be on white paper. They can be on a different colored paper if you would prefer. They do, however, have to be the poster size. It has to incorporate the theme, literacy changes our world. How does being able to read affect your world? Okay, so the deadline for the poster contest is Friday morning by 9 o'clock. Make sure you get those in, and prizes for second and third will be awarded. So make sure that you participate in this wonderful contest. They have to be done at home. The posters have to be done at home. Okay? Stay tuned next week for more uh, literacy stuff. Okay? Back to our news crew. That's it for today's edition of WDTS. Keep building success, Trailblazers. Bye. Let the trailblaz Trailblazer the force, force be with you. you. <laughs> As I stumble my words. I like that.